One, two, three, four. Okay, now that's a basic straight ahead bluegrass style rhythm mm -hmm. that we're assuming that the viewers of this video will already be familiar with and they'd yes. want to go on from there. So mm -hmm. why don't you take that same progression and do it more like you would do it uh, in your style of rhythm playing so they can get an idea of what the difference sounds like before we get started actually teaching the techniques. Okay, uh, several different ways to do it and different stuff to add in. Uh, as you'll notice, there'll be some cross picking. There might be uh, uh, a few upstrokes in different places, which I call it could be like a syncopated kind of rhythm. So, uh, and uh, I'll just do something like this, for example. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's great. That's that's much different than before. A lot of more variety, a lot more full fullness, mm -hmm. a lot more color and texture to that. Now I noticed you did some of your cross picking. You did some uh, that syncopated with uh, some muting of the the, the left hand. You did uh, some of that groove style rhythm that that you like to do. Mm -hmm. um, let's go through some of those techniques, starting with the cross picking, and talk about in detail how how you actually do that. Can you play uh, some of that cross-picking style just with a simple GCD progression and, and focus on just playing that cross-picking style rhythm that you do? Yeah. Uh, what I'm basically doing here is uh, uh, using those same bass notes, like for your, your G, for an example, and going down and doing a little simple rhythm before that, like up and down these strings. And then coming back and doing the cross picking on the second time around, like. So the idea is like. So now why don't you go ahead and play that again and we'll get some close up angles on that so the viewers can see a real close shot of, of what you're doing there. Okay, what I usually do is start out with the fourth, third, and second strings and practice this little roll right here, which is two down strokes and one up stroke. Right there. And what I'll do first for the rhythm section is do your bass note and play a downstroke on all uh, these strings like you do in your basic rhythm right come up on those and then the second time around then I'll put the cross picking in it for a G it might be different from uh, C and D so in G I'm actually coming up on the first and second, so you got right. And now C is a little bit different. Uh, C. Uh, I'm actually coming up on the second string instead of the first one. So you got a rhythm that's like this. Take in mind your bass notes here is uh, and 
for D. Uh, D is a little bit different too because I'm skipping over uh, the A note. It's for when C I was playing it with rhythm. So uh, I note that I've got the uh, sixth string fretted with my thumb at the second fret for your lower bass note for a D. sound something like this. Yeah, let me show it some more detail on the uh, maybe how you could uh, smooth out that. Uh, I know everybody uh, picks a little bit different and holds the pick a little bit different, uh, but I'll show you how I do it. Uh, what's involved in, in part of it, as you can notice, is my thumb joint being able to move back and forth like that. And the anchoring of the hand here, right close to the pick guard. And it's not like a tight feel for me it's just a, you know, it's there, kind of hanging loosely. And this back angle of the pick, when I'm coming down, it's angled that way, like when I'm going on my, my fourth string, right? And then eventually that turning down of the thumb joint through to the second string, right? You see what that my thumb joint is doing? Instead of taking your hand all the way off the strings, that, do a more smooth tr transition, like just let it glide to the next string, and then down all the way through, and then up. Notice that uh, you're doing a cross picking pattern of two down and one up, but because of the other pattern that you're adding in with that, you're actually hitting a bass note and then going two down and one up. So, it, it, in all intents and purposes, it, it, you're doing three down strokes and then followed by upstroke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you show us that and we'll, we'll get a close up of that too? Yeah. Uh, like on the first part of the rhythm. And then you got this uh, on the four string. Except for it's different, you're coming uh, using these two bass notes is the uh, fifth and sixth strings. <laughs> for that cross-picking pattern, fitting that into a rhythm style. How did you first come up with that? Well, I first learned that from uh, early on, uh, I guess back when I was listening to uh, uh, like J.D. Crow in the New South, for an example, uh, uh, the way they did their vocal harmonies and listening to uh, when they were singing the chorus, you know, blending in and the particular stuff that went on in between uh, the vocals. Uh, one song that sticks in my mind would be the song like uh, 10 Degrees or Getting Colder. Uh, and take for, uh, 
of like uh, if they played it out of a D position or whatever, uh, uh, like on the course part, it would be. Dun, dun. <laughs> smooth that part out and then come in right there. So the, 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 the rhythm part, I, I, I've heard some dynamics going on there. The rhythm part laid back a little bit and then you punch that cross-picking thing then in there for emphasis. Punch that line in, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now do you also use that when you're backing up uh, fiddle tunes and, and things like that? Do you sort of throw that in as a, as a, to add some variety? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, especially uh, I don't want to interrupt what the uh, the melody part of the song is uh, mm -hmm. of whatever line he's playing. Uh, it's just it could be parts, you know, of stuff that uh, uh, where he's taking a pause in there or something. You know, the other lead players okay. taking a pause. So uh, because of it's kind of a, a full sound with that yeah. cross picking, you're uh -huh. not going to interfere with what a vocalist or another instrument or is doing. Do you're yeah. going to throw that in to that gap or pause that you find in the song. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Why don't we go ahead this time and ask Ricky Simpkins to come out and pick a tune with Wyatt and let him demonstrate how he fits that cross picking into backing up a fiddle player. <laughs> 